This is your week one assessment, products of whole numbers. Number one and two, solve each problem using repeated addition. So four times eight. So that would be eight plus eight plus eight plus eight. So that's eight plus eight four times. So you're going to solve that there and then you're going to do the same thing for number two you're going to do five times three with repeated addition so that would be three plus three five times and then make sure you give me an answer number three what multiplication problem does this grid show so you're going to have blank times blank and you're going to solve so count your squares going down and count your squares going across, and that will get you your multiplication problem. Number four, draw a grid to show six times five. Um, this is where you would insert shape and copy and paste. If you're not comfortable with that, I need you to at least solve what six times five is. Okay, but if you do decide that you're gonna do the inserting shape to draw a grid, remember, you're gonna represent the multiplication problem. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have five going down, and that means I would have six going across and then you would fill it in from there. Number five, a small parking lot has eight rows with six spaces for cars in each row. Write a multiplication problem to show how many cars can fit in the parking lot. Solve the problem. So you are gonna write me a multiplication problem here and solve it. So your answer should look like this. It should be blank times blank equals. The directions for six through 10 say write prime or composite beside each number. If a number is a composite, write it as a product of two numbers. Do not use one as a factor. So you can definitely use your factor chart here if you need to. So number six, the number is seven. Well, I know that seven is a prime number because it only has two factors, one and seven. So I'm gonna write prime here. And one times seven equals seven. But for example, number seven, for the number nine, I know that nine has more than two factors. So nine is a composite number, and I know that three times Three equals nine. So you have to do both steps here to get the credit. You have to tell me primer composite and solve the multiplication problem. 11 through 14, write all the factor pairs for each number. Again, just use that factor chart and you will get all of your answers that you need here. So for number 11, I know that one times 12 equals 12. I know that two times six equals 12. And I know that three times four equals 12. So on all of these, 11 through 14, they're all gonna have more than one factor pair. So you're gonna have uh, at least three or four answers for each number. Um, 36, this one has quite a few factors, so make sure you get all of those in there.